Good morning. It's a little overcast this morning, slightly chilly, but we have a problem. Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm Santos. So the problem is the Yamaha. The Yamaha Viking. I just got it back probably two weeks ago from the shop. They said the clutches needed to be polished. So what was happening, I'd put it in gear, hit the throttle, it would go and then just rev up and, and almost like basically just slipping. So I thought it was the belt, but they said the belt is in perfect condition. And they said normally on these Yamahas, the belt doesn't, doesn't have an issue. It's a 10 year warranty on the belt. So I don't think it's the belt. It goes in gear, it starts to move and then just revs up. Here, I'll give you a demonstration. So I'm taking it back today again, but problem is the dealership I take this to is, well, 35 minutes away, 40 minutes away. So it's a pain in the neck to have to keep going back and forth. This is a 2021, so it's not even that old. It's got 88 hours and only 600 miles. It can't be having that kind of issues so early on in its life. I mean, maybe it is, I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. She fires up. Take it out of the old brakey. Slips back in, it jerks because it catches. But gonna move, grabs right back up. Oh, so I don't know, but we're gonna load it on the trailer and get this over to the dealership because I did call yesterday and they said I could bring it in, which I didn't think they were gonna do because normally when I call them, it's a usually a week wait until I can bring it there. So maybe they're slow this time of year, which is good for me. Um, so let me get my tractor. We're gonna use the bad boy. And I'm gonna slowly push it by the hitch. Push the side by side by the hitch up into the trailer. Cause I don't think it's gonna drive into the trailer. Not the way it's doing, so let's see. Watch. Give it gas. Last time he told me it was because of water. And I'm like, well, I don't even drive this thing in puddles. I mean, that's not enough. That water riding through there shouldn't do that. This thing is at least a foot or two off the ground. So anyways, we're going to go with the back the truck up to the trailer. I got to clear some stuff off the trailer. And then... We'll load this bad boy up, and it's going to rain now, too, so great. All right, so I'm just trying to back this up. Got the tow rope. Got to remember to turn that brake off. So... Turn the wheel, get this bad boy to get the, not the bad boy, but the side-by-side -side to turn. And I'm just taking the bucket and I'm pushing up against the hitch real slow, real nice. I don't want to bend anything or break anything. And I'm going to try to hopefully push it up that trailer. I should have no problem with the tractor. Break off. One thing about the tractor, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in the uh, video, and if you have a tractor, you probably know this, but when you're towing or cutting or 
anything where you're doing with like loader work or implement work, you want to be in the lowest gear. So for me, it's A. B is a nice gear too, but that's if you want to get to a, a destination. Let's say you got a bucket full of dirt or you got the implement on, you just want to get somewhere pretty quick, you would use B or even maybe uh, C. C is pretty fast, uh, really moves this high gear. So A, when you're doing work, you want to be A. You got the most torque and power. One day I was um, cutting the side road and I was off into the ditch and uh, I was mowing, right? And I was, it was a little wet and had four wheel drive on, but it just attracted and seemed like it had power. So I looked down and I was in B. I put it at A, totally different machine. So keep that in mind. When you're using your tractor, whether it's a Bad Boy, Kubota, John Deere, whatever the, the, the brand is, just make sure your gears, you're in the right gear for the right uh, application. All right, so I was able to slowly pedal. I could barely press on the throttle or this thing slips and I got it to this point. So just make sure I'm lined up here. I gotta turn the wheel, but I'm gonna take the tractor. I'm gonna try to push this up. Go up nice and slow. And luckily with the tractor and low gear and, and the hydraulic, it's got very, it's very precise. So. I'll use the ratchet, ratchet straps now to cinch her up. <laughs> oh man. But, you know what I need? I need a trailer to fit both of these on there, plus the Spartan Zero Turn. That would be cool. Then I can go buy my property in Tennessee. Or maybe North Carolina, I don't know. So, anyway, I'm gonna see if I can set you guys.
It's all strapped up. Nice and tight. Emergency brakes on. Strapped to the old hitch. It usually works out. I know you shouldn't do that all the time, but I don't really use that hitch for heavy towing. Just 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 trailer around the property, trimming trees or whatever. I throw it on there. So, anyways, we're going to Broward Motorsports. That's where I bought this from. That's where I've serviced it, and hopefully, they can figure out what's going on with this thing. They said there's water in the where the clutches are. I'm like, well, I don't understand how this time if it got in there, I don't understand how that would be possible because I probably have just a few, like an hour or two since I just had it out of the shop. So whatever they did didn't work. They just band-aided it and thought it was gonna be good. They were trying to be cheap. It's been two days. I have not heard from Broward Motorsports in reference to the Yamaha Viking to see what's going on, why it's slipping. But uh, I just wanted to put this at the end of the video. I was going to post a video yesterday, but between Christmas, Christmas Eve, and everything going on here, I didn't get a chance. So anyways, I get to add this here. And once the Viking's back and I know what's wrong with it, I will post a message. Thanks for watching.